Hi, this is Mark News from Plant Talk Radio. Thanks for subscribing and listening to our podcast, Your Gardening Questions from Plant Talk Radio. If you have a gardening question you'd like our host Fred Howard to answer, send him an email. The email address is fred at planttalkradio.com. Now for today's question. Uh, Marilyn wrote in. She goes, uh, we just bought our first house and I'm new to gardening. Mm-hmm. So I was wondering... Can I put perennials in containers just like the annuals? Will they come back next year in the pots? Well, no. Uh, Marilyn, that takes some explaining. The answer is both yes and no. The size of the pot and what you choose to put in it is is going to be extremely important on that. Um, I have seen perennials such as mums, uh, well, and let's just say other things come through the winter in a container. However, it's dangerous in this sense. Uh, The perennial should be kept moist, not not wet. Um, You're talking about adding a few pints of water in a normal-sized container every third or fourth week. But you have to keep the the roots moist or they will indeed perish. The bigger the container in width and depth, the less freezing and thawing will take place. Now, it still takes place, but it will be much slower to reach into and through the container, through the soil, and into the roots of the plant. So, yes, you can plant some perennials in there, and I'm going to leave it as some because I I think each situation, be it sun or shade, uh, how big the container, et cetera, et cetera, all will have some bearing on it. Certainly, it's worth trying. However, If you do plan to keep the plants moist, be sure it's just moist because water expands. It depends on who you're talking to. Approximately 10% when it freezes. And if you have kept a large, beautiful uh, pot or jardinier. By the way, do you know, Mark, the difference between a pot and a jardinier? Uh, I, I'm sorry. I was not paying attention. I was doing something else, Fred. Uh, yeah, what? Uh, yeah, I was. Ahead. Well, no, I have no idea. The answer is under twenty bucks. It's a pot, and over twenty bucks, it's, it's a jardinier. Oh, I but, like that. Yeah. yeah. But at the point is, uh, large or small containers with water in them in the winter time will expire because the the pot just flat. Uh, well, as the water expands, it cracks the pot, and that's it. Yeah. Uh, you, you can, as I know one person to have done, uh, two very nice containers cracked, and she just <laughs> was clever enough to the following year put a liner in them and uh, refill them. Uh-huh. And turn the crack toward the house where nobody could see it and, you know, persevered. But uh, at the same time, now... Marilyn, I, I think I would strongly recommend that you use annuals. There, there are a couple reasons for that. One is you don't have to worry about it in the wintertime. You can put the jardinier or pot in the garage, not have to worry about the plant's survival at all, or leave them out, cap, cap them with some plastic so they can't get wet, etc. And annuals will bloom the entire summer, whereas perennials, almost every perennial has a, I'll call it a season, it's usually two to four weeks of flower. It can be absolutely magnificent. And then they stay green in terms of growing and so on, but the flowers are gone. So I think you get a better bang for your dollar in terms of using annuals. Uh, you can then, of course, change the uh, arrangement each year. And also, uh, you can, as the one lady did I mentioned, put a, con- a liner in it, or you don't have to line it. You can simply plant in containers that you buy at the garden center, drop them into the urn, so to speak, and then you take out the annuals in the fall. You put in some um, evergreen boughs for Christmas time. You then come along in the early spring. Uh, florists and garden centers will have some bulbs in bloom early. You grab another couple pots of bulbs. You get several weeks of color out of them, and then pretty soon you put in maybe an early blooming perennial, covers a couple three weeks and by then it's may 15 you can put the annuals in nice yeah hey thanks again for listening to our podcast be sure to subscribe to our other podcasts as well the plant of the week podcast and the plant talk radio podcast all on itunes or your favorite podcast player if you'd like to sponsor a daily podcast contact us at fred at planttalkradio.com To find out more about Fred Hauer and Plant Talk Radio, visit our website, planttalkradio.com. 
We've had a lot of questions about how we started the Dollar Saving Divas and why we do this. I know. Well, I'm Kelly. And I'm Leslie. And we are the Dollar Saving Divas. But we do more than just dollar saving saving tips. But we started talking about this. It was 15 years ago when we used to work together. Mm -hmm. And I I just remember we we started it because we both like the same kind of food. Yeah. So we would go in in search of uh, lunch every day. Lunch every day. Let's find the best chili. Let's find the best crab cake. Remember, we would just go place to place and we would compare and it was just our it was our fun little lunch break every it was, day it was a joke that, that we that said you know we ought to do this sometime for like a radio right. show or and we both at the time we both had young kids and so we were trying to find ways to you know even cut costs and still provide all those things that you want to provide for your family well and, and live even, within your budget and and you know we used to I used to do a lot of events and marketing so you know we we've done everything from tricks and tips on, you know, party planning and how to decorate a table to different foods. I mean, we've traveled around the community to lots of different Yeah, we discovered some things in the community that, you know, we didn't know were there. We thought, well, gosh, other people should know. Exactly. Shopping, great shopping places. We even we even went took a vacation to Naples, Florida, which right. I, I think we should do more of that traveling. Oh, absolutely. Actually. Yeah, yeah, we should do more. I of that. think some international would be good. Maybe. But I think it's just it's a lot of our life experiences. A lot of life. It's a lot of life. A lot of life experiences. <laughs> We're not going to say how many combined, but <laughs> sharing I, that with other people. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to say we, we could, you know, together it would be like... <laughs> no, we're not going to say okay, that. Okay, I'm not even going to go there. I think it's really fun. I mean, we're now actually going and looking for sponsors. I mean, people are actually following us and they're, you know... I know. It's, we, it's amazing. We've got, I mean, it's like... <laughs> people do want to hear what we have to say. <laughs> and actually, I've heard some people even take notes. They have to replay it because, like, like I want to know where that really good happy hour is. And they like, right. they, well, everybody wants to know where a really good happy hour well, is. And we're, we're really good because we know where all the good happy hours are. Just ask us any place you live. We all can, those years of work, yeah. you need to know a good lunch spot and a good happy hour spot. And, and never the two shall meet because <laughs> you shouldn't be drinking at lunch. <laughs> But it's just been really fun, and I, I think we're really expanding the things we're doing, which is, which is, you know, I never thought that people would actually listen yeah. to us. Well, I think that's the fun part is we are doing what's fun to us. Exactly. So it's not like it's work. Right. We're just having a good time. And, and talking about it. <laughs> Talk about, and maybe we shouldn't be talking about some of the good times that we well, have. Right, probably a little censorship would be good. <laughs> well, I think we, you know, we go bleep, bleep <laughs> in between. So I, these podcasts are really twenty minutes, but we edit them down to eight. <laughs> yes, because <laughs> yeah. there's so many things there's that should go of, in there. Yes, yeah. Bleep, bleep. <laughs> you know, it's like that. What is it? They, what do they do on the um, on TV? You know, it's like the. The, right, the lag time or the yeah, exactly. Yeah. We have to have a th- ten second delay. That's it, a ten <laughs> second delay. But we've really had fun, and so I hope people continue to listen to us. Yeah. And if you know what, and if people have things that they thought would be, make a good podcast, they really ought to you know contact us. Let us know because we're always open to new adventures. Yeah, but do they, <laughs> do they include travel, food, and, <laughs> and <drink>? alcohol? <laughs> yeah, and we're down. We're good to go. <laughs> Circle270media.com.